fans of the adrenaline-fueled crank movies have been eagerly anticipating a third installment, hoping for another dose of Jason Statham's high-octane action as Chef Chelios. While the series may not be renowned for its intricate storytelling, the heart-pumping action and relentless stunts have carved a special place in the hearts of many and are enough for it to get a sequel. So the burning question remains, will there be a Crank 3? Let's dive into what we know. Although the Crank films didn't impress critics and didn't perform well at the box office, they have managed to cultivate a dedicated fanbase that appreciates their unique appeal. These movies may not be the go-to choice for those seeking deep storytelling or complex characters, but they excel in delivering an unparalleled adrenaline rush through their intense action sequences and impressive stunts. In fact, the films have garnered such a devoted following that fans have eagerly clamoured for a sequel for almost 10 years now. Crank series retrospective, what can we expect from Crank 3? Let's take a look back at the awesome Crank series and get pumped for Crank 3. Released in 2006, this action-packed thriller was directed by the dynamic duo of Mark Neveldine and Brian Taylor. It starred the incredible Jason Statham as Chev Chelios, a badass hitman from England based in Los Angeles. In the first movie, Chev gets caught up in a wild plot. His boss Carlito strikes a deal with another bad guy named Ricky Verona to have Chev eliminated. To make things even more insane, Ricky and his gang break into Chev's place and inject him with this crazy Chinese drug that slows down his adrenaline flow. This means that Chev has to keep his adrenaline pumping at all times, which leads to some seriously wild situations. To keep his heart racing, Chev gets into all sorts of crazy stuff. He picks fights with gang members and cops, does drugs and even has some public fun with his girlfriend. To track down Ricky, he enlists the help of his street contact Kalo, who happens to be a transvestite. Kalo leads him to Ricky's brother Alex and after some intense action, Chev takes out Alex and gets in Ricky's face. Ready to settle the score once and for all, Chev confronts Ricky, Carlito and their goons on the rooftop of a downtown hotel. Just when things are about to reach a deadly climax, Don Kim and his tried gangsters show up to help Chev. A crazy shootout erupts and while Carlito tries to escape in helicopter, Ricky double-crosses him and takes aim. However, Chev drags him out of the helicopter and snaps his neck mid-flight, causing him to fall dozens of stories and crash on top of a car. The film ends with Chev on the ground, hard breathing, blinking and the sound of two distinct heartbeats in the background. But let me tell you, as wild as the original Crank was, it can't even come closer to the sheer insanity of its 2009 sequel, Crank High Voltage. The story picks right to where the first movie left off, with a bunch of gangsters showing up in the crash scene and whisking Chev Chelios away. Enter the mysterious Johnny Wang, who takes Chev to a hospital and pulls off a crazy move. He replaces Chev's heart with an artificial one that's hooked up to an external battery pack. And here's the kicker, Chev learns that he has to recharge that battery about every 60 minutes or else it's light out for him. As if that weren't enough, he also discovers that a ruthless gangster named El Huron had put a target on his head. Crank High Voltage hits many of the same notes as its predecessor, but cranks up the absurdity to new heights. Chev runs into his old girlfriend Eve at a strip club, makes love with her on a horse racing track, gets into a shootout with the Chinese triads, battles with disembodied yet somehow still alive Ricky Verona, and ends the film by beating El Huron to death while on fire. Right now, there isn't much information available about the plot of Crank 3, however, co-director Brian Taylor has made it clear that he wants the new movie to be even more intense than the first two. In an interview, he mentioned that his vision for Crank 3 is for it to be exceptionally more screwed up than Crank 2 was compared to Crank 1. While there have been some discussions, he hasn't felt that the creative ideas were messed up enough to truly bring to life. This indicates that we should brace ourselves for even crazier and more outrageous adventures in the future of the franchise. If Crank High Voltage is any indication, Crank 3 might pick up right where the previous film left off, with Chef Chelios waking up after receiving a new heart. Typically, the plot in the Crank movies simply serves as a backdrop for Chef to find himself in ridiculous situations and unleash his fury on the bad guys. In Crank 3, it's highly likely that Jason Statham's Chev Chalios will once again find himself facing off against some kind of mafia boss. He'll undoubtedly engage in all sorts of death-defying stunts, 
including the obligatory public love scene, to keep his adrenaline pumping and his heart racing. Co-director Mark Navaldeen has also expressed interest in bringing English actor Idris Elba into the mix for Crank 3. Elba could potentially portray the next major villain in the franchise, a role he's already familiar with, as seen in Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw. So, expect more insane action and new faces in the upcoming Crank 3. Crank 3 cast and crew. Who could be behind the film? Crank and Crank High Voltage were written and directed by Mark Navaldeen and Brian Taylor, an American filmmaking duo. Jason Statham plays Chev Chalios, Amy Smart plays his girlfriend, Eve Lydon, Jose Pablo Cantillo plays Ricky Verona, Kion Young plays Dom Kim, and Dwight Yoakam plays Mafia Doc Miles. Jason Statham is best known for his roles in action films such as The Italian Job and The Expendables. He's currently filming the action thriller The Expendable 4. Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, and Randy Couture return to the franchise, as do Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, Megan Fox, Tony Jaa, Ika Uwais, Jacob Scipio, Levi Tran, and Andy Garcia. The trailer sets the stage for a high-stakes mission to prevent the World War III from breaking out. Jason Statham and Amy Smart are expected to reprise their roles as Chev and Eve in Crank 3. Another recurring character who could appear in Crank 3 is Dwight Yoakam, as Mafia Dr. Miles. Crank 3 release date. When will it be available? Although there is no confirmation that Crank 3 is in the works, the directors and several of the actors involved in the films, including Jason Statham and Amy Smart, have expressed interest in reviving the franchise. However, Brian Taylor revealed that it would be a while before Crank 3 sees the light of day due to franchise profitability concerns. Crank 3 is currently not in development. However, it is a distinct possibility somewhere down the road. If it is greenlit, we can expect Crank 3 to be released in 2025 or 2026. Is there a Crank trailer or poster available? No, we'll have to wait. While we wait for more information on Crank 3, you can watch the trailer for Crank High Voltage, which we think is pretty awesome. So in a nutshell, as of now, Crank 3 is not officially in development, but the directors and cast members have expressed interest in reviving the franchise. While it may take some time due to the profitability concerns, there is still hope for the fans to witness Chev Chelios' wild escapades once again, with promises of even more mind-bending action and the potential addition of Idris Elba as a formidable villain. The anticipation for Crank 3 remains high, so buckle up and stay tuned for more updates as we might just witness Chev's heart-pounding return in the not-so-distant future. Well, that's it for now. Make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching the video, we'll see you at the next one.